Greetings wonderful people, my name is Yvonne, and this week I sincerely don't have enough time to record any complex video. That's why I thought that I'd sort of get you behind the scenes of what I'm working on right now. These days I am recreating some systems in Griezland that are pretty dumb because I started them 3 or more years ago. And one of my problems is the sheer amount of object that I have in a single room which greatly reduces the performance of my game. A problem on top of that is that in the inspector I can't really tell what objects are single blocks and which had been stretched before. That's because when I started making Grizzland, I used to place blocks one by one instead of scaling them. So now when I delete the blocks I never know if I will remove a tiny part of the level or a long line of floor. This alone would drastically slow down the process of recreating the levels for me. And what is worse, I wouldn't be able to tell if the room I'm rebuilding is finished or not. Therefore, here's my little trick that I used to improve the readability and ease of working with the objects inside of Game Maker. I don't know if it can be really useful for anyone else, but uh, I sort of wanted to share it. So what I do is I simply turn off all the tiles and add an outline to my blocks, and that's it. This way I can clearly see their edges in the inspector. On a side note, I use the same method to create grids in my game. The size of my room is actually 128 by 96 pixels, which is the size of a view or one in-game screen, and Game Maker only shows you the grids inside of that size. That's why I made a separate tile layer with grid background, which also uses outlines to indicate the edges with a size of 16 by 16 pixels. I hope that you found this video to be interesting, informative, or for some reason entertaining. If you did, please consider subscribing to this channel to see more. And I'll see you in the next video. Farewell.